In practice, a rotating drum is used instead of a flat surface, and the paper TBC is illuminated by flashing or stroboscopic lights or a moving scanner. There have been many innovations since the idea of dry footing first took shape in the 1930s to improve the geographic process, including the way the owner is supplied. It cost, cost area, the development of developing the use of laser, the overall user experience. So, these are the things that we have done and innovate. Who invented xerography? Who invented it? Inspired by the work of Hungarian engineer Paul Selenyi, an American attorney named Chester F. Carson came up with a rudimentary version of the xerography by 1938. Seven years later, he sold his idea to a non profitable organization called the Battle Memorial Institute in Ohio, where researchers refined the technique. A year later, in 1946, a small New York based uh, Haloid photographic company purchased a license from uh, Battle to build a machine based on technique. The company trademarked the name uh, for this machine as a Xerox machine in 1948 and, and availed, availed the first model for sale in 1949. Alloyed managers were responsible for coining the word xerography, replacing Carlson electrography. So, they word the word replaced with xerography and uh, electrography. Alloyed itself changed its name to Alloyed Xerox in 1958 and to Xerox Corporation in 1961. Two parties more accepted the adop uh, adoption of this technology world. The Xerox 941 in, in 1959 was as being very simple to use and the Xerox 8, 813 in 1963 as being able to fit on a table. About a decade later, Xerox also introduced the laser based photocopier. Instead of using a lamp to reflect light of the document to be copied to the drum, the data to be copied or printed was encoded as a bitmap that was fed to laser, which then inscribed the requisite shape onto the drum. By the second half of the 20th century, Xerox wasn't the sole maker of the photocopier machine. Even if it was the dominant supplier, companies like Kodak made and released devices based on parents they own. Xerox remained ahead because its patents ensured that its competitors produce had to use specially prepared paper on which to print rather than plain paper. So, plain paper to yehi log use kar sakte the kyunki inke paas kya tha? patent tha. IBM was able to overcome this when one of its researchers developed a process based on organic photoconducting material in late 1960s among other changes. How did it change the world? Three examples illustrated xerography's zero, uh, wide-ranging impact. The first was counterfeiting. In 2002, people discovered that Xerox machine refused to copy banknotes that uh, included a particular marking of five small rings positioned like star in the Orion constellation. Similar marking have since been found in the banknotes of the of at least 35 national banks. A 2005 statement from the Reserve Bank of India accompanying uh, the release of new rupees 50 notes call it the call it the Omron anti-photocopying feature suggesting that a Japanese corporation named Omron was responsible for designing the ring to prevent counterfeiting from duplicating or printing currency notes using Xerographic machines. Secondly, to this me, your design name was Saktata. Take it. Now, take it. Secondly, kya? we have copyright and surveillance. In 2012, a raft of academic publishers, including the Oxford University Press, filed a suit alleging copyright infringement against a photocopy shop and, a, and the University of Delhi. The suit claimed that the teachers at the university, university had picked pages from the book by the publisher to be copied and bound together at the shop and sold the university university student at a 50 paisa per page matlab half rupee per page the matter famously concluded in the university's favor highlighting the rights that attended to the uh, attended to the benefits that occur from being able to make numerous copies of educational material at a low cost similarly catherine ichhorn an associate professor at the new uh, the new school university in new york wrote in 2016 book 
The spread of copy machine made copying an increasingly indi independent practice. As a result, these machines enable the reproduction of text that would never have passed the censor, such as military uh, militant manifesto DIY guides on how to build our own bombs or grow your own marijuana. And finally, art. Walter Benjamin contended that by taking away the ritual of producing art, mecha mechanical reproduction had rerouted art's value in politics. But transformative technologies like zero graphics never have simple consequences. As Dr. H. Horn wrote in the same book, a vibrant art scene that emerged in the 1970s, New York created a generation of innovation artists, writers, and musicians who benefited as much from low rent in some areas as xerography zero, allowing musicians without agents to print home uh, homemade posters advertising upcoming gigs artists to move their art out of the gallery and museum and into the street and writers to self publish designs broadsides and even books so ye article dekhiye isme hamare liye important ye ho jata hai ab dekh lete hain hamara kya hamare liye important ho jata hai sabse pehle se general knowledge पता चला फोटो कॉपी ये मशीन हम यूज कर लेते हैं डेली ये है क्या कहा से ओरिजिन हुआ क्या है देख लिया जीरो का मन वर्ड का मीनिंग आपका ड्राई है ठीक है काम कैसे करता है नेगेटिव उसका सरफेस रहता है पॉजिटिव पेपर रहता है उसको चिपकता है तो उसको हीट करते हैं ताकि उसमें से निकले ना तभी पेपर निकलता है तो गर्म होता है और उसके बाद से आप देखो वहां पर लाइट आती है आपकी वो लाइट ऐसे ऐसे चलती है मशीन में वो क्या चलती है वो स्कैन करती है जहाँ पे ब्लैक पेजेस होते हैं वो स्पॉट्स को नहीं स्कैन कर पाती है क्योंकि वो उसको लाइट चाहिए वहाँ से लाइट कंडक्ट नहीं इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्लो नहीं होता है वहाँ से और जहाँ पे वाइट पेज है वहाँ से फ्लो हो जाता है तो बहुत नेगेटिव थिन वहाँ पे वायर लगाते हैं जो आगे पीछे करता है आपका इलेक्ट्रॉन्स उसमें से वो उसको आपको स्कैन करते हैं कौन इन्वेंट किया हमने देख लिया कैसे काम किया हो गया इसमें वर्ल्ड में क्या क्या चेंजेस हुए हमने देख लिया तो बस इस आर्टिकल में इतना ही इम्पोर्टेंट था हमारे इतना ही क्या जनरल नॉलेज के लिए हमारा इम्पोर्टेंट था क्या है कैसा है सो थैंक यू गाइस प्लीज वर्क हार्ड टू अचीव ऑल योर ड्रीम्स